everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is marina i am a certified lash tech based in toronto canada and i like making lashing videos and today we are going to be doing a set that i have never done before which is a hybrid of a strip lash look set and a wet lash look so i've mixed the two um styles together to create this really spiky set and um, this client really wanted something a little bit less dense looking. And so I find that these spikes allow for that nice um, kind of natural look, wh whereas it can still look glam because it is considered a volume set. I'm using all 0.05 spikes. So technically it is a volume set, however without the open fans it doesn't look as dense and as fluffy and sometimes some clients like that so in this case this client loves the spikiness of this set and she really loved the results of it. And so basically, yeah, like I said, the, this entire set is, use, is using spikes and um, so basically what I did was I no longer use the technique to um, prime the lashes, like the lash extensions to create spikes. I don't do that anymore. Uh, so if you look at my other video on how to create lash spikes, that is a technique that you can use. However, I did find that sometimes it doesn't look as organized as I like to. And so if I don't add any primer or any serums and just grab the spikes as is, from the lash strip, it tends to look a little bit more organized. I'm not too sure why, but maybe just because it has a softer look. One thing you can do at the end of your appointment, if you want it to be a little bit more on that wet, kind of spiky look, you can add primer to the tips of the lashes at the very end if you want to. But um, the way I went about it was just to kind of grab and apply. So how I created this set was I, again, used all um, spikes from the base to the higher spikes, but um, the base length is 8 to 13, and we're doing a cat eye set, so the 13 at the very end of the eye is in double D curl, and then at the very, very, very outer corner, I go down by two so i went to 11 millimeters double d curl this is just so that if there's fallout it doesn't droop down the eye and it also just doesn't droop down the eye in general when you are finished the set if you put a really really long set at the very outer corner it can sometimes drag the eye downwards and usually when i'm trying to achieve certain lash sets i try to focus on a lifted look so that's something you can keep in mind i do kind of say that throughout my other videos but it's always good to reiterate some of the techniques that i use so yeah because it is eight millimeters in the inner corners um, the next spike I would add up would be 11 millimeters. So it's following that same pattern for the strip lash look. You can add as many peaks as you want, but um, for this one, I just kind of freehanded it with the amount of peaks I wanted, but tried to keep it as symmetrical as possible to the other side. And as I go um, up the eye and kind of continuous continue this set, I just basically increase the spike length to the amount that I want. Um, in this case, I did 8, 9, 10, 11, and then going forward, you just keep increasing by 3 millimeters. If you guys want more of a drastic spiky look, you can increase it by however millimeters you want. Sometimes I go as far as like 4 millimeters increasing, and that really shows that spikiness. Uh, again, though, that is completely up to your discretion and how you want the set to come out to look like because everybody, like I said, does their own kind of style. But uh, for this set, because I was already using so many spikes for the base and the peaks, I decided, you know what, let's just increase by three, not go too crazy because it's already going to be so spiky. Um, and yeah, sometimes I found that if my lash spike wasn't going to the spot that I wanted to, meaning that if it was the glue wasn't drying fast enough and it would kind of slouch to the side, and then you can see that there's one spike kind of leaning to the left or leaning to the right, I would just remove it. 
This is because with lash spikes, it kind of reminds me of applying classic lashes where directional placement is really crucial if you're trying to achieve a very clean look. Sometimes if your lashes are, or sorry, if the lash glue isn't, you know, uh, curing at the speed that you want, directional placement can be fairly difficult because the lash can be easily pushed and directed to another side when you are isolating and what i mean by this is when you're isolating one eyelash you're pushing the other lashes to go to the other sides in order for you to isolate that one lash when you're pushing all the other lashes to like the other side if it's not fully dried it can easily kind of start to bend that way and you're set will kind of come out messy so try to make sure that your humidity is you know up to par that your temperature is up to par and that your glue is curing at a speed that you want it to because it is very easy for it to um you know look really messy and honestly there are sets out there that are very wispy and textured those are the sets that i would folk i wouldn't like be too worried about when it comes to directional placement but um, yeah, for this set, I did want it to be quite organized, but spiky still. So that's just something I would keep in mind. Also, my client has a lot of eyelashes. This client always takes me about three to four hours to do any set with her just because she has so many eyelashes. So because she has so many, I keep the spikes fairly thin. I don't grab too much. This is because it's going to still look dense at the end of the... Um, end of the appointment regardless of whether you know you have like really thick spikes or really thin spikes they're gonna look super full so because she kind of asked and during her consultation she kind of asked for something a little bit more on the natural side but long i uh, made sure to make the spikes fairly skinny so make sure to talk to your client about what they want um some of my other wet lash looks you'll realize that it's very dense looking and not as spiky looking and that's because the spikes are a lot thicker so it comes out to look somewhat of a um very thick volume spiky set but yeah this one has really really thin spikes and that's what gives it that nice elegant look and then yeah the adding this peaks to it just adds another level of spikiness so this is the first time i've ever tried to achieve a look like this and honestly guys stay tuned at the very end it turned out really really nice i'm very proud of this set and uh yeah this is something that i've been trying to advertise for people to try out but the wet lash look has been very very popular these days um and i've mentioned this in my other video but it's just you know gaining so much traction in terms of popularity it's trending it's because it's it looks like classic lashes but uh, a little bit more full and a longer retention so the application process is quite fast for this kind of set but uh, the retention is a lot longer so you can charge um, a volume set but still get it done in a fast amount of time because you're literally just picking up the spike and placing it on so yeah that is this spike if you guys have any qu um the spike this this is the set it's a spiky wet lash look mixed with a strip lash look and yeah it's a hybrid set so if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them in the description box below or sorry the comment section below and leave a like it'll mean the world to me and yeah i'll see you guys next week thank you guys so much for continuously watching